large artery near his groin, it had missed it by about three millimetres. Yeah. <laughs> and you lied about it. We are doing an episode of Confessions. It's basically like an AA meeting where we come and we each give three confessions of things we have genuinely done. This isn't a would I lie to you situation where we give you three options and two of them's a lie. We have done all of these things. Hello, guys. Right? Uh, hi, hi, Jack. Mate, hi. I'm scared. Why are you scared? Because I know the kind of backlash that Alfie now got when he shared his... Don't feel good. Does not feel good. I feel okay, good. though. So I once almost killed my cousin. Oh, my God. Purpose? Pillow? Yeah. Uh, there was a... There was a beanbag involved. <laughs> Bloody, that's a bigger tool for smothering. Mm. I yeah, um, and he ended up in hospital. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! You took it one step further. <laughs> Anything like... Alfie can do. Yeah. <laughs> Does he know Keelan? <laughs> <laughs> His name is Keelan. <laughs> He's been through the bloody wars, that guy. <laughs> How old were you? Uh, about fifteen. And why did you do it on purpose? I didn't do it on purpose, right? But what I was doing was, um, my auntie mosaics tiles i think i've told you before <laughs> but you're telling us her name then she... <laughs> <laughs> my auntie mosaic <laughs> mosaic tiles <laughs> plays for arsenal mosaic tiles maitland niles uh sorry um there's a there's a mirror lent up against a chair in her living room she'd been mosaicing the frame of it mm. with little tiles and me and my cousin reese would face e- away from each other and we'd go we both had bean bags holding them here on our chests, yeah, like big bellies. And we'd go, what? <laughs> Everyone's got their belly on their chest, right? And we'd go, what? And we'd face away and we'd go, one, two, three. And we'd turn away and we'd go, bang, and bang into each other and we'd fall over. And we did that all day. <laughs> Barrel of laughs, that. And uh, at one point, I thought, I'm going to go early doors on this one. I'm going to go around on two. So he went, one, two. And I turned around and I went, Bang! And I knocked him. He wasn't ready. He didn't know his beanbag ready. He wasn't armed. He was an unarmed kid. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> and he, he was he he was like halfway through turning round on three. And I hit him and he fell backwards and he stumbled across the room, fell backwards into the mirror that was leaning up against the chair. Mm. All glass came up, oh. cut the back of his leg almost near his artery, and the blood went. <laughs> and was squirting out and it went all over the living room and it was like a scene from The Shining you know the elevator scene yeah and he went white and I was like oh god I've killed my cousin yeah oh is that all you oh god (laughs) I went this will probably make a music anecdote later on down the line (laughs) and I went and I called his mum up and she came downstairs and she's like what the fuck is going on I was like oh he fell into the mirror and then she oh no so you lied about it as well yeah definitely and then didn't Reese go no he didn't the twat just pushed me. <laughs> well, <laughs> Reese was bleeding now. I don't think he could. <laughs> Reese had bigger issues on on his he- in his mind at that mm. point, and I think he to this day he doesn't know that I went on two. Oh, he was that he against was just the a- rules? Well, yeah. yeah, it was one, two, three, turn and hit, and I just went a little bit early. I went about two point five. Imagine that in a western. Oh. You're walking through. Eastward, they go down, down, and down. draw, but you draw just before they say draw. You'd have no respect. What happens if, well, you'd be dead. No, you'd win because you'd draw early, so you kill the other guy, but nobody respects you because you cheated. Yeah. Yeah. What? Is that what they do in westerns? Yeah, they walk away from each other, and they go, draw! And then they both turn, and whoever shoots fastest wins, and the other guy dies. But then you have to go. You have to play the game properly. If not, you have got no respect. But you back in westerns, back, back in westerns, they didn't have like iPhones and that, did they? Back in west westerns is a genre of film. I don't know why you're. <laughs> yeah, what's that, what's that got to do with anything? Back like, in westerns, because they they would have never filmed those. It's not like VAR. They couldn't have gone. Oh, we went a bit <laughs> early there. Let's have a look at that. No, but they're all I mean? watching. They're <laughs> all watching. That means someone was going to shoot before they even say the word draw. Yeah, but but it's so minimal that draw like that. Yeah, it, but I'm saying it'll go. With you going one second earlier, that'll go poof, draw. Like it's fairly obvious yeah, if the word gun, draw comes after the gunfire. Gun bag, isn't it? You well, like either way, ground, either imagine. way, they both died. Almost. My cousin didn't die. He went to hospital, and they said that it had missed his large entire uh, large artery near his groin. It had missed it by about three millimeters. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and you lied about it. No, that's no, that's no, the bit that's holding on to me. 
He's, he's not in a wheelchair. <laughs> can we stop? Can, <laughs> can we, we stop? stop this? Sorry, sorry. This is an AA meeting. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I probably went on two point five. How does that make you feel? Terrible. Does he have a scar still? Actually, not bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's just looking at it, going, "Content is brilliant." I'm just thinking, like, he didn't die, did he? If he had have died, yeah. How do you think that would have changed your life? I'd have handed myself into the police. Really? Do you think you would have gone down for manslaughter? Nah, no. Nah, we were kids playing games. You're 15. You should have known better. Yeah. No, we were probably 12. <laughs> That's still quite. I don't think I was sort of doing that with my cousin at 12, just like bashing into each other. Uh, Why uh, were we outside? I actually think I might have been a lot younger than I'm letting on. Yeah. I'll tell you what, right? While you discuss whether or, or I'll, I'm, I'll send him a voice note, mm. right? And and I'll ask him to retell the story, and then we can carry on with the show. And when he replies, I'll play it out and see what it is, all right? Yeah. See what he thinks about that story. Hello, Reese. I'm currently doing a podcast called Jack Makes Happy Hour Podcast, available on Spotify now. <laughs> and um, I've just told the story about when I nearly killed you, and it involved a beanbag and a mirror. I was wondering if you get a moment, preferably within the next 40 minutes, could you send me a voice note and retell your side of the story of what happened? Thank you and good night. Not good night. You need to stay up because I want, want the story. Cheers. Um, so if he comes back and goes, yeah, Jack went on two, will that make you feel worse or better? Better. Because I think he, then then he's aware that it was me going a bit too fast. Yeah. But too quick. And, and he's, he's accepted it. I think we have to hold off on whether we can forgive you or not until we hear his side of the yeah, story. We since... need to call a witness to the stand. All right. Well, yeah. I've called him to the stand and we'll see if he accepts my offer. Yeah. Yeah. Remember back to my confession. Yes. Almost killing my cousin. He's got back to us. He yeah. stepped up to the confessional. Good old um, this is what he has to say. Hello, mate. Yes, you did nearly kill me. <laughs> good, good start. I don't know exactly what game we were playing, but it was involving us running each other with a beanbag, and I think trying not to fall over. Or maybe the game was to try fall over. I'm not sure. <laughs> But all I can really remember is you just knock, basically knocking me over oh. while I fell through a, mer- a mirror that was rested up against the chair. And I was like, oh, shit, I've broken a mirror. This is weird. It doesn't hurt. And I went until I went and told my mum we'd smashed up a mirror, thinking we'd get really told off. I realised there was a massive hole in my leg with all blood running down it. Oh, my gosh. And that's basically the end of my attempted murder by you. <laughs> that's that's actually that's yeah, I've quite got... tough to listen to. That. <laughs> yeah, it clearly <laughs> still haunts him. I've it's got raw. to say the sentence at the end means that you've definitely not been forgiven. Ah, oh, that's I... the end of the story of my attempted murder by you. But he didn't say. He said he didn't know. He didn't mention that you cheated in the game. Yeah, he doesn't. Why. He thinks it was just a, a happy accident of a game you were playing. Not happy, yeah. but a nice accident. But it turns <laughs> out, it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> a, a lovely ne- uh, I had a hole in my leg and blood was right. Steve is going, he sounds good. Oh, he's, just, he's loving just it. a little happy accident. <laughs> happy mem- happy memory. He, <laughs> he thought it was an accident, just two kids playing, and it turns out you're an absolute fucking devil. Sorry. Oh, okay, in that case, you're forgiven. I can't believe it's because you cheated. I went about 2.5. Was it 2.5? No, it, he's right. pushed that back. It's probably yeah. about 2.7 I went on. Oh, you're going even further back. Yeah. That makes it less believable. You should have gone to 2.4. How far away were you guys from each other? Uh, so we're about, so the the the, the, the big the length of this room, so about five foot. No, no. Um, this room's about 10 foot. About 10 foot. Okay. So let's just do some quick math then. You were 10 feet away from each other. Yeah. And then you go one, one two, two three. three. On three, you turn and you run at each other. So you're saying you ran, because you said he hadn't fully turned. So you're telling me you ran... <laughs> 10 foot in 0.3 of a second. Yeah. <laughs> You're not forgiven. All right, I accept that. That's awful. What I'll... a little f- fucking bastard. Hey, mate, it's you're like... trying to suffocate a boy in his sleep. At least I yeah. fucking injured someone who was alive, awake. <laughs> <laughs> I meant awake. Okay, so Jack, not forgiven. Alfie, not forgiven. You're first. I've been too forgiven. Yeah, it's because you've met somebody and nicked a father <laughs> for your mum to buy some Pokemon cards. Jack's yeah. nearly murdered someone and I tried to kill my mate. I love, how, I love how I started this episode going, I got you cookies because I didn't want you to not hate me. Yeah. And then I even told the audience, I promise I'm a nice guy. <laughs> you've done nothing wrong in your life Who's ever. Who's worse, mine or Jack's attempted murder? Oh, Jack's. Oh, come yeah. on. He was I asleep. Think. And he ended up in hospital. He was asleep. <laughs>